Hi there. In today's video, you will learn how you can create this awesome slide zoom PowerPoint template with clickable section zooms and morph animations. To create this presentation, we'll be using morph transition and section zooms. So having PowerPoint 2019 or later is required. And feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free. All of the information is in the video description. And if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me show you how you can create this modern slide zoom PowerPoint template with clickable section zooms and morph animations. As you can see on the left side of the screen, I have created a couple of slide sections. We will need slide sections in order to use section zooms. Section zooms will allow us to zoom into sections, go through all of the slides of a section, and zoom back afterwards. So let's create one of these sections together, step by step. And for that, let's just open a new PowerPoint presentation. Okay, and first of all, let's insert a background picture. I'll be using a photo from unsplash.com, link is in the video description, if you would like to use it as well. To make sure that the photo covers the whole slide, I will increase it, and crop it, to 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Nice, and I think we can edit this photo a little bit, let's add some darkness and some contrast. Okay, and next let's create a blurred slide background, we will need it a bit later. Let's select the photo, go to artistic effects, choose blur, and apply maximum blur. And now, let's copy this blurred photo. After that, let's reset the photo to normal. And next, let's paste the blurred photo to the slide background. And now, as you can see, slide background is blurred, and we have a sharp photo on top of it. This kind of setup, allows you to easily create a glass morphic effect, for any shape on your slide. Just select any shape you want, and for its fill, choose slide background fill. Now the shape will be filled with the blurred background fill, while the rest of the photo will remain sharp. Nice! And next, to save some time, let me copy this slide title and subtitle from my previous slide, and let's paste them into our slide. Alright, and now let's create our first slide section. Let's say, this section will be all about company mission. To insert a slide section, let's just right-click somewhere on the slide list, and choose Add Section. We can name the first section, Start. And let's call a section below it, Mission. Now let's add an empty slide to the Mission section, it will be our section cover. We can change the slide background to a darker color for now, we don't need a blurred background for this slide. And now let's design this slide. I'll be using a rounded rectangle, that I'll stretch to cover pretty much the whole height of the slide. Line color will be white, and I'll use a subtle radial gradient fill, to create frosty edges for our rounded rectangle. And now just follow the video, and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, and next let's insert an icon and a text box. I'll be using a rocket icon provided by PowerPoint Office 365. And if you don't have an icon tab in your PowerPoint version, you can check out websites such as flaticon.com. And now just follow the video, and I'll catch you in a bit.
All right, our slide section cover is ready, and we can get back to the first slide, and insert our first section zoom. Let's go to insert, zoom, and choose section zoom. And let's pick the mission section. And here is our first section zoom, well done. And as you can see from the thumbnail, it will take us to the mission section. We can make the section zoom background transparent, by clicking on the zoom background button. Position your section zoom anywhere you wish, and let's make sure, that the return to zoom option is enabled. It will allow us to zoom back to the starting slide. Now let's test this section zoom on the full screen. Once we click on the section zoom, we zoom into the first slide of the mission section. And once we click again, we zoom back, because currently we have only one slide, in the mission section. So let's add more. To save some time, let me copy this mission slide, from my previous presentation. And let's paste it, into our mission section. Let's make sure, that we keep the source formatting, this way the blurred background will be copied as well. As you can see, some of the shapes on this slide, are using the blurred slide background fill. That's awesome. Now please note, that the slide transition for this slide is set to morph, duration 1 second. Morph transition will help us to animate the rocket icon, and this rounded rectangle. Let's check it out on the full screen. Nice, as you can see, the rocket icon and the rounded rectangle are shrinking, when we transition to the second slide of the mission section. And now, let's use morph transition to animate this slide. Let's say, we would like the information about the mission to appear first, then the vision, and finally the values. First of all, let me ungroup all of the shapes. This way the rounded rectangle will be animated properly. Next, let's duplicate this slide three times. On the first copy, let's leave only the mission information. On the second copy, only the vision information. And on the third copy only the values. All of these three slides have morph transition applied to them, so it should do, all of the animation magic. Let's check it out. Nice, everything is working as expected. You can use your keyboard arrow keys to navigate the slides as well. Either way, you can set your section cover slide to transition automatically, so that you won't have to click with your mouse each time. Just select the cover slide, go to transition options, disable on mouse click, and enable after 0 seconds. Now once the section cover loads, it will automatically transition to the next slide. Nice! Congratulations my friend! Now you know, how you can create clickable section zooms with morph animations in PowerPoint. Feel free to create as many section zooms as needed, in my original presentation I had 5 sections, let's check them out again. And feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free, all of the information is in the video description. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you so much, and until next time.